What's up, everybody? Welcome to Aftermath Digital with Jimmy, Anthony, and, of course, Kevin Mickey joining us in his fancy business casual attire. We had a fantastic NXT TakeOver 31 this weekend, and we talked about how great the show was, and it got us thinking about what the, some of the best TakeOver matches were ever. Do you have a favorite TakeOver match out of 31 TakeOvers, Jimmy Corderas? Uh, you know, I, I think back, I mean, uh, NXT brand, I think their style, it, it, I like it. This is, this, this is in my wheelhouse, the kind of stuff I like to see. But I think back to um, NXT TakeOver Dallas, uh, right before WrestleMania in, in the Big D, and Shinsuke Nakamura versus Sami Zayn. And that match was not only, in my opinion, fantastic and one of the best NXT matches that I have witnessed, I was fortunate enough to be there live and take it in in that atmosphere with the crowd and feeling the emotion. And for me, that still resonates with me to, that, to this day as uh, some may disagree. Obviously, everybody has their opinion what the best uh, NXT matches of, of all time. That for me was the one that sits with me and is unforgettable yeah and i mean correct me if i'm wrong but there was no lead up to that match either it just they said uh it's shinsuke nakamura's debut it's going to be against Sami Zayn, and here we go and then sammy was called up to the main roster really not long after that and mm -hmm. it just kind of proved that even in nx in nxt you didn't necessarily you don't necessarily need a whole lot of build to have a sweet sweet match and yeah, I think I think you're right. But that's that Zayn Nakamura match was outstanding. Yeah, last Friday, just to go off topic for a second. Um, Zayn and Jeff Hardy. Oh, my God, Th that's some chemistry that I can see over and over again. Well, not so much, you know, over and over, but a little over and over. Um, with regards to NXT match, unfortunately, guys, you know, I don't have the best memory in the world. And if you told me matches, I'd be able to say. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, you know, to, to be able to call one. So I'm going to go with this last one here uh, that we just had this weekend. And the only reason, again, and I mentioned with our wins, is that fusion of modern-day MMA grappling and professional wrestling was done perfectly. I've seen excellent examples of it in the past, but this, the way they, you know, you know, there's classic spots where this guy gives a headlock takeover, this guy gives a headlock takeover, this guy gives an arm drag, and they, they nip up and they do the fighting stance and the audience claps and that kind of stuff. They were even able to mix in like nip ups or kip ups, whatever you call them, with headlock takeovers, head scissors, with like neon belly into a jujigitami. And even with a, for example, there was one, they did a sunset flip. He just stepped down, put the leg over into an arm lock. And it was just, it was such an awesome blend. Of, um, Still very excited about it. You didn't see the twisting, burning 450 Hammer Phoenix splash? I went to the bathroom for a second. It must have happened there. <laughs> uh, Kevin, what, did, what about you? What's your favorite takeover match? Uh, so this actually is a match that I was there for. NXT TakeOver Toronto 2016. DIY versus The Revival in a two to three falls match. I, I can't say enough about that match. I, I remember it so vividly, clearly to this day. I was with about six other guys from Sportsnet there. Uh, we were, I think, 22 rows up, pretty much on the hard camera side. I, the match was so, so good. I was invested from the ring bell all the way to the final three count. It was that good, that memorable, that emotionally investing. And, I mean, it, it was – and that, that match was that good to me, and it was still kind of hard just to pick – that one out of a number of other ones. I mean, I would even go uh, Pete Dunn versus Tyler Bate at NXT Chicago 2017 for the uh, UK title, a six-way ladder match, NXT North American title at uh, NXT New Orleans 2018. And then I think one of my favorite spots all time at TakeOver, uh, Ricochet versus Adam Cole, baby, at, for the NXT North American title at NXT Chicago or NXT Brooklyn when Adam – when Ricochet's doing the backflip off the middle rope and Adam Cole super kicks him in midair, like that mm. spot is ingrained in my mind. What a spot that was. So I think that is the most memorable move mind uh, spot for me, mm. but the most memorable match is DIY versus the revival NXT Tirana, the hometown show. 
I yeah, remember yeah, being yeah, at that yeah, show, yeah. and I brought a friend with me who has not watched wrestling in forever and knew nobody on the NXT show. And as soon as that match was over, he's like, I'm invested for life. That made him a wrestling fan again. It was fantastic tag team wrestling that we don't get to see a lot of now. And done the right way. I think a lot of people forget about how, how you can incorporate, and I hate getting back to referees and stuff like that, but incorporating the rules of tag team wrestling to help tell the story in the match and that's exactly what they did at, at that NXT here in Toronto. That, uh, it, uh, yeah, I can't say enough good things about that match. There was that one thing that stands out in my mind, just a moment as well, was Ricochet just diving over the rope and spinning and landing in front of Velveteen Dream. And uh, his face was just mm -hmm. like, what the hell? So, <laughs> obviously, this weekend, Velveteen Dream uh, versus... Uh, Kushida. Kushida. Yes. That was like a Back to the Future gimmick thing going on there, right? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Kushida comes out as Marty McFly, so Dream came out as uh, Doc Brown. Okay. Okay. I thought uh, he just lost his mind for a second. Uh, no, also, he just dusted his hair with white hairspray for fun. Um, yeah. So, as far as NXT matches go, uh, you've all mentioned some great ones, but I am going back to the beginning. NXT arrival, uh, Sami Zayn against Cesaro. Some of the matches Sami Zayn and Cesaro had leading up to that arrival match were already some of the best matches I'd ever seen. But that one on arrival, not for a title, not for anything other than best two out of three. And that was, the, you know, like it's fantastic. Sami Zayn diving through the corner of the ring post and uppercut. Cesaro yeah, catching oh. him with an uppercut. Yeah. And he just hangs. And then he's just hanging on the edge of the ring. It's And look at that. Sami Zayn is involved in a whole bunch of these matches that we're calling as the best. Of, yeah, it's true. He is a common denominator in all these matches. Um, Cesaro was a secret, secret badass the whole time. And NXT, kind, those NXT matches where he sort of went back to NXT and had this rivalry with Zayn, brought him back up to the main roster. And he is... I think still a secret. I think he could be a single star, but he keeps getting into these tag teams. Mm -hmm. I think I think Cesaro's due for a singles run, and you can go back to NXT Arrival and see where that all began. No, totally yeah. agree with that. And and I want to give a special shout out too, also to uh, Johnny Wrestling or Johnny Takeover as he's known now uh, versus Tommaso Ciampa. That rivalry, mm. w best friends sometimes make even better rivals. So th they had a wonderful, you know. Yeah, well, Cesaro and Zayn, they, they were friends long before WWE. And I think that really kind of, just having that history between them really helped mm -hmm. elevate them and elevate each other. Um, I have beat, I beat to Cesaro before. Oh, good for you, <laughs> Anthony. That's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, guys, we're talking about NXT. And if you don't know what we're talking about, you can check it out uh, on Sportsnet on Friday nights. And also, is it Friday night? It is Friday night. Also, uh, NXT, for those of you that don't know, is where you can see tomorrow's stars today. You don't have to wait the extra day. That's why you watch NXT. Uh, stay tuned. We're going to talk all about retribution in our next segment when we're back on Sportsnet Digital.